amazing. She's cool, she's fun, I love that lady. The show where you will hear all of your favorite classic R&B throwbacks, celebrity interviews, and entertainment news. She's fun, informative, uplifting, and inspiring. Are you ready? Yeah! Now, here's your favorite lady. Lady Charmaine. You're tuning into the second hour of the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine, and we got some hot topics popping off. We're talking about should your grown kids be on your medical insurance until the age of 26 if they are not in college? I feel a certain way about that. Also, should you be legally responsible for your children until the age of 21? Hi, you're live with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is A from the OP. Hello. <laughs> I would just like to comment on the um, 18 to 21, um, and I'm not sure if I'm really the most qualified person since uh, I have no children, Okay, but I will bring their opinion anyway. <laughs> I think that um, from 18 to 21, mm-hmm. most young people have no sense. <laughs> they think that they're grown, mm-hmm. but they have no sense, mm-hmm. and I think that it's important that from 18 to 21 is the most critical time uh of a young person's life going into adulthood. So I I will venture to say that, um, yes. And then also it depends on um, the, the family and the child, too, because I left home when I was 17 because I was quite mature mm-hmm. and responsible. But um, because of the way I was raised and the way I, I, I studied things. So um, it it, it will depend, but for the most part, I don't think parents should kick a child out at 18. Oh, no, I just say kick, kick them out. Should you still be legally responsible for them? Uh, yeah, I think so. You should. You should be legally responsible for them. Um, but, but the caveat is, if they're not going to do, you know, follow the rules of your mm-hmm. household mm-hmm. and either go to school... Mm-hmm. Or get a job, mm-hmm. then you know that's where you run into problems. But you know, some kids they just need a lot of a little bit more help. But see, uh, the thing is, that's a good point. But they have to want to accept your help because yeah, we know yeah. that kids need help. As parents, mm-hmm. we know that because we've been eighteen, twenty-one. But mm-hmm. the child needs to understand that they need the help. But when they think they're grown, that magic number when they hit eighteen, they think they're grown. I don't need to listen to you anymore. You don't need to tell mm-hmm. me nothing. That's right. a whole that now that's a whole nother um, ball of wax that we're dealing with here. We know mm-hmm. they need help. They need to know they need help. Yeah. <laughs> and so that that so, that's the difference. We know they it, do. <laughs> yeah, but it's also a fine line too with those that you know think that they know it all. Mm-hmm. And, and they don't. So, mm-hmm. ooh, God bless you all for right. uh, that kind of care. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello, my name is uh, Stephen. I'm calling from uh, North Carolina. Hi, Stephen. Thank you for calling in. Yeah. Well, um, I'm, I'm calling because I think one of the approaches that we're, we're starting to realize now is that maybe I, I think maybe we you should in regards to keeping your, your children on your health care until they reach a certain uh till they reach 26 okay um a um because typically what what this generation is going through is and what most generations went through um uh, they're not going out seeking relationships in regards to settling down getting married and having kids mm-hmm. uh they're more focused on either focus on uh, focusing on those career goals and <laughs> that's one of the things i told that's one of the things i told my kids you know hey you know, go do all of that stuff now so that when it's time for you to settle down, you don't feel like, man, I, I, I can't do this because I um, I have all these obligations. Now, did you say most kids are focused on career goals? When I say career goals, whether <laughs> okay. it be something you're trying to do and whether you're trying to do something in music, mm-hmm. you're trying to, yes, you know, you do have, um, I am very proud of the kids that are going out into these, these trades, whether it be HVAC, carpentry, whatever, mm-hmm. that, whatever that may be, because you have an apprenticeship program uh, time span where you're really not making a lot of money. Right. And when you look at health care now, to pay a hundred and some dollars for one person per pay period, it's a, it, it's a lot of money, you know, especially when you may not be getting that much of that much health care mm-hmm. um, to come along with it. Um, okay. But it, it allows them to at least to to 
to get their legs under themselves. Now, are go you, travel. Go now, do all of them. Are you things. speaking for the ones that you said they, they really are trying to do something for themselves? And what about the ones that don't, not really trying to do much for themselves? They just, you know, don't care to speak to their parents, not dealing with their parents at all, but you're still in your parents' health care. You want to be grown. you mm-hmm. out there. And, mm-hmm. you know, and they'd have no relationship with their parents. Don't talk to their parents at all, but you still yet on their insurance. So if you're out there just doing, as I say, the fool fool, and then your parents got to pay whatever, whatever that comes with your medical bills. But remember, they don't know what they're paying for because of HIPAA laws. Right. Well, technically, it's still the individual um, that goes in to get the service mm-hmm. once they receive once they reach, reach the age of eighteen. Correct. Mm-hmm. It's that individual's responsibility uh, to settle that debt. Mm-hmm. The parent just helps to cushion some of that, so the individual still has to be responsible for. But for whatever see, that's whatever the point. deals that they that's they what go I'm through. saying they have they to be responsible, but they're out there being irresponsible. Mm-hmm. So you know they're not going to be mm-hmm. responsible to pay for that medical bill. Hi, you live with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Charmaine, this is Ellen. Hey, hey Ellen, Ellen, how are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd chime in because I got them old chillings, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's him about them chillings? <laughs> so, you know, um, I think 21, because 18 really is not, you know, mm-hmm. not old enough for them to really know themselves they be feeling themselves, but mm-hmm. they don't know themselves. Absolutely you know? correct. <laughs> but, but I know my my oldest son. He lived with me till he was thirty three, and uh, how I fixed that was I moved. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> left him the apartment. I moved. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you get rid of those kids, those grown hey. kids. You move <laughs> out. <laughs> Corinne Bailey Ray on 97.5 KDEE. I'm your host, Lady Charmaine. You're tuned into the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and we're talking about those grown kids. Now, I have a question for everyone. Okay, your child is 18 years old and considered to be a legal adult. Do you think the legal age should be changed to 21 instead of 18? Because at 18, you're considered a legal adult, but there's still some things they cannot do until they're 21. So let me ask you a question. Should the age be moved to 21? Hi, you're live with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Lady Charmaine. This is Leela, and uh, I'm calling from El Grove. Hi, Leela. How are you doing today? I am good. What's your comment? Uh, you know what? I think uh, at the age of 26, uh, if they're not doing anything, they're not working, no. Okay. Okay. If no. they're not going to school, trying to be productive citizens, no. But I do believe they should be... Uh, covered under the life insurance policy. Oh, that yeah, I agree with that. You know, that <laughs> okay. I agree with, but mm-hmm. uh, no. <laughs> okay. And to, and to the other question in regards to um, should they be at home and to what age was that? Oh, should you be legally responsible for them until the age of 21? I don't think so. I think 18 is good. Okay. <laughs> okay. you know... Because they think they grown anyway, yep. and when they're eighteen years old, mm-hmm. they're they're out of school. I mean that that should lead them into college. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and if they by that time, if they don't want to live by your rules, then they got to go. Okay, <laughs> and I agree, sister. Hi, Deborah. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. I I think what you talk about is on a case to case basis. Mm-hmm. If you got some retarded kids <laughs> that are at 18 and not 18. Right. They could be still 15, 14, but they, the age group. So I say that to say this. All my kids are grown. They're all doing very well. I didn't kick them out. They had the opportunity to stay. But if they got in my face, they had to go. Right. Okay. Look. Okay. <laughs> as far as medical coverage, I say yes. Keep it until 21. But being legally responsible for an 18 year old, I think it needs to stop because between that 18 and 21, they could commit a crime mm-hmm. in your vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or in your credit because they wrecked your car. Mm-hmm. Those kind of things, no. <laughs> right, because you know, medical insurance is, t- is until age of 26. Oh, 26. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good mm-hmm. because, you know, everything costs so much anyway. It's best that we can help them through that. But I'm from. 
the school of hard knocks. <laughs> and it's better for you to learn between 18 and 21 than later on when you got kids for 30. Absolutely. And the kids have to go through it. I totally agree. Thank you so much, sis, for calling in. Now, I have I have five kids. Mm-hmm. They are all grown. Okay. I love them all. I think the legal age should stay at 18. 18. Okay. Um, you know, like the last lady said, for, for reasons of, um, you know, them getting in trouble or, mm-hmm. you know, that falling back on us. I like the idea of the insurance staying until 26. Okay. And, you know, my thing was, it's same with, when my, with my parents. My thing was, okay, 18, mm-hmm. you're either going to school or going to the service or you got to find something to do. Right. So give me a call, 916-921-5333. We're talking about the grown kids. Should they be on your medical insurance until the age of 26? Not in college. Also, what are some of the things that parents should stop doing for their grown children? And should you be legally responsible for your children until the age of 21? Do you agree with that? Give me a call. 916-921-5333. And right now, here's the Isley Brothers. Groove with you on 97.5 KDEE.